Hi, I'm Dr. Dina Porterfield, president of Roberts Wesleyan College in Northeastern Seminary, and I'm here with Pastor G. Today, we want to cover a few points around our recent announcements related to COVID-19. I want to assure you that at this point, there are no cases that are known on the campus of Roberts Wesleyan College in Northeastern Seminary. But I also want to provide you with the best information that we can. And I want to start by saying that if you go to the Roberts website or the Northeastern website, you will find a link to COVID-19. And our teams have worked tirelessly to fill those pages with information that will be helpful to you. They talk about the dates in which the college is in transition and how we're delivering courses at the seminary, what that looks like, and then ultimately a whole section of questions that have answers that we believe are pertinent to our students, our faculty, staff, and parents. And so I want to encourage you to go there. But I really want to take a few moments and talk about a few things that I think are important. Pastor G is going to give a few comments, and then I want to end with really what this might all mean for Roberts Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary. I want to assure you that we're closely monitoring the rapidly changing situation, and our first priority is the health of our students, our faculty, staff, community, as well as our global neighbors, those in Rochester as well as those around the world. There are new updates that become available, it seems really, every minute. And we are doing our best uh, to be able to monitor those, and we will be updating that website regularly. And when you go to that website, you will see a last updated time on there. I encourage you to go through that page, especially the FAQs, and find the questions and answers that you have. If you still have a question after going to our website, either at the college or seminary, there is a location where you could submit a question. We are monitoring those regularly and doing our best to find answers along the way. And we will make decisions based on the questions and give you the answers you need to help direct you forward. You know, this is a really challenging time for our community. And people have asked me why why are we making the decisions we're making? Again, we want to make sure that the health of our students, faculty, staff, and community are really at a priority for us because that's what we're about. But there's a bigger picture as to why Roberts and Northeastern has made the decisions that we have. And here's what that is. We know by looking at a pandemic like COVID-19 that there are spikes in cases that can happen. And there's a chart that you may have seen where if things spike, there's a healthcare level that we can handle as a country. And so we're doing our part as global citizens and as good neighbors to control large congestions of people being together where that might spread. So this idea that we're making these decisions just about our community is actually not true. It's about our community, but it's about being the neighbor that we're called to be as Robertson Northeastern. So we want to do our part for our society and for our community. At this time, Pastor G is gonna share a few words and talk a little bit about how does this fit within our faith and how can we move forward? Because I know it's there's anxiety and concern and questions about how to live this challenge that's happening out in our own lives each day. Uh, thank you, Dr. Porterfield. Uh, it's interesting as I think back to the beginning of this academic year, when you kind of set the tone by giving us a vision as a faculty and staff as, and students. And our theme for this year has been forever faithful. And as we look at the present circumstances, there's no way that we could have predicted that this was going to happen. And right now we're trying to respond the best way that we can uh, to honor those around us and to honor God. But I think ultimately we have to look at, man, God is forever faithful. Mm -hmm. And so we need to trust him to handle those parts that we can't control. And so I think this is a good opportunity to be faithful in those things in terms of loving our neighbor, acting responsibly, and then looking to God to handle, you know, the big stuff. Right. 
And I want to say, you know, it's a little unnerving, isn't it? The things that we see on social media, um, the empty shelves in grocery stores. And yet here we are in this space as a Christian community where we have a hope of Christ and an assurity and a peace that can come beyond the world we live in right here. And so this idea of forever faithful, you know, when we started the year, we looked back in our history. 154 years ago, Roberts Wesleyan College and Northeastern Seminary were founded. And we looked to see if there were any patterns, right, where God had shown up. And we saw over and over and over again, um, crisis situations in the community, globally, as well as on our campus. As a matter of fact, our very first building in the 1800s burned to the ground. We only had one building. We had not paid insurance for three years. And our history tells us that through that time, the community came around and we rebuilt. Over and over and over again, in a moment of crisis, God brought people and resources and new ideas to move our community forward. You know, it's hard to look at because you forget that it had to be really hard for those leaders, for the students in those times. But the truth is, the college and seminary transformed into something new that's led us to today. I don't know what God's gonna do with this moment, but I do know that we can trust him fully. Our verse, 1 Samuel 7:12. thus far the Lord has helped us. Think about that verse, right? and that he is forever faithful. I'm sure in those moments when the cyclone came to campus, when the stock market crashed multiple times, by the way, when free high school came, when we were a high school, when buildings burned down, that there was anxiety and fear. My prayer for you is that you can rest in the hope and peace and comfort of Christ. Make the decisions you need to make and be smart about those Follow the guidelines from CDC, from Monroe County, the guidelines we're setting for the campus, but at the same time, hold loosely the fears and the anxieties and allow God to take that from you in a way that puts you in a place of peace and comfort in this unsettling time. Pastor G, I don't know if you just give a prayer for our community, or a blessing for our community and what that means, whatever you feel led to. Yes, let's pray. Mm -hmm. uh, Father, um, we look to you. Um, we are in need of your wisdom and your guidance and even help remembering how faithful you've been mm -hmm. to us as individuals, families, as an institution, as a nation and even just throughout history you are a very present help in the time of trouble so God we ask that as many people around the world are figuring out what to do or trying to figure out how to to stay healthy we ask that you would help us not to act in fear but to act with wisdom may we love those around us well and may we move with patience and wisdom as only that you can give. Thank you for the Roberts family. Thank you for our president. Thank you for our administration. I pray that you would just uh, give us what we need, Lord, to stay faithful and to stay committed. We pray for our students as they're figuring out uh, and navigating the various changes that they're faced with. We ask that they would just take a moment to breathe and to know that you've got us and that we can, we can look to you, that those that call upon your name shall find help and deliverance. And so, Lord, we entrust all these matters to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching this video. We'll, we will continue to update our websites, but I want you to know we're all part of the community all moving forward to make this place better than it was yesterday.